Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Take on Tottenham. My name is Ben and this is my Take on Tottenham. And another day in the life of, of being a Tottenham fan. Um, another day, another set of breaking news stories, another another video. It has been reported this morning that Gennaro Gattuso will not be considered or anything for the new Tottenham job. Um, it has happened over... A lot of fan backlash overnight. I think the hashtag no to Gattuso was trending. Now that's very interesting because our, even Paolo Fonseca, which a lot of people were very underwhelmed, like I said in the old, in the, yesterday's video, myself included, initially, but having done some research, I was warm into the idea of having him as manager. Um, but for the fans to start getting a hashtag trending shows you what a bad idea of hiring Gattuso would have been. Now, I fully understand where people are coming from. I've, you know, I've had some... I, the comments on my last video, I really appreciate, actually, because it's given me sort of a different perspective of things. I've had a couple of people saying that it would actually be a good... In terms of really getting into the club and sorting stuff out, it would be a good appointment. But I just personally, I just don't think it is. I think not only... Like I, I've said in the in the last video, I don't really like him myself. Um, but you know, he's he's always had quite a, I think Alistair Gold put it, probably the best combustible nature. Um, obviously, we saw that back in what was it 2010-11 in the Champions League, like I said yesterday with Joe Jordan. Um, but as a manager, I think it's a questionable decision anyway. And I think you you literally just have to go online and look at some of the things that he's he's said about some of his views and things. Um, it doesn't fit with what, especially what Daniel Levy said in the end of season letter with the DNA of the club. They said in the end of season letter, we want a new head, head coach. We feel like um, we've lost our way um, and lost what makes us, you know, who we are and our DNA of the club over the last year or so. And they want to get someone who fits the DNA of the club. I don't think any Spurs fan would have ever looked at Gennaro Gattuso as the answer to that. So, fortunately... Fan power, as we found out with Super League, does work. And I'm really glad that people got that trend in. And, and we've, we've kind of stopped it from happening. So well done, guys. Well done. You know. um, so um, so that that is a positive, in my opinion. Out of all this merry-go-round circus mess that Spurs are in at the minute, one positive is that Gattuso will not be the new Spurs manager. Who goes now? I have no idea. I, generally, after yesterday, because I, I felt... Before I found out that there was such a backlash against Gattuso, I generally felt um, right now, I didn't initially, I wanted Poch or Conte, like most fans. Um, right now, I would take a, a, a Graham Potter. And I know it was it was mentioned, um, he was on the shortlist, but he wasn't obviously plan A. Um, but I, I would take a Graham Potter or... or I, I, hell, even if Gattuso had been hired, I would have taken a Scott Parker or someone. I just feel those guys were even better suited than Gattuso to the Spurs job. Right now, I have no idea. I, I And again, I have to. I feel like I'm echoing everything he says. I have to echo what Alistair Gold says. Um, I would take Eric Ten Hag. I've been a massive fan of Ten Hag. Um, initially, before Poch was mentioned, it was my personal choice for the for the manager's job. I, I really like the idea of um, Eric Ten Hag joining Spurs. I think what he's done at Ajax is incredible. I think you know he works well with youth, which is exactly what Spurs want. He plays an attacking style of football, and we we found that out. Look, we played against them in the in the semi finals against the Champions League, and they, they're a very good outfit. I feel like Ajax's biggest weakness is just that they seem to create a lot of stars and then end up selling them on. So they start to progress and then they go back and then they start to progress and then they go back. Um, and, and it's a shame because they, they've produced some really good stars that we know uh, at Spurs, Christian Eriksen, Toby Alderweireld, Jan Vertonghen, you know, uh, you look at Man U, Donny van der Beek, um, Matthew De Ligt, you know, some really, really good players. Um, uh, Ziyech as well, I think, played for them as well. So really top players. They had such a good... Um, a good squad, especially that season that they made the semi-finals and, and barred that last second, you know, goal, they would have been in the final as well. Um, and, you know, oh, Dusan Tadic as well from Southampton. Like, he flopped at Southampton, joined, joined Ten Hag's Ajax and absolutely was, was a wonder. So uh, that's who I want to go with. I know he signed the year extension, but it just might mean the Spurs have to really go deep into their pockets and, and pay 
compensation to get him, but that's who I want. I want Ten Hag. That's it. Um, and the thing is, just before I go, it's kind of a weird situation. I can't, how, what happens now if Spurs go back to Fonseca? Because the guy was ready to join. I know there were some tax issues, and I don't know if that's the whole reason or they want a good tutor, because I've read two different sides of that story. But if they had the option to go back to Fonseca, how how much be, like would your tail be between your legs going back to him? You have just had him ready to take the job. And then just because someone else became available, you just thrown him away. Like, just passed him off to the side like nothing. And then you try and get that person. I, he would do better avoiding the job now, to be honest. And I, I would not blame him if they went back to offer him and he turned it down. Because I think that was incredibly disrespectful. Um, from Spurs and you know it is what it is I, 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 I'm I done really defending the club you know you know, I'll criticise the club when when um, when they need criticising um, so it, it is it is what it is it's just another day in the life of a Spurs fan um, but yeah I, I hope that they push all their efforts into Ten Hag that's all I can say on that one but the good news is woo Gennaro Gattuso is not joining Tottenham Hotspur and I think that is a big positive for everyone involved so um just wanted to get that off before you know before i head off to work i'm sure there'll be some breaking news by the time we get home if so i will do another video like i did yesterday um but yeah keep an eye out please subscribe please hit the subscribe button I, i've been really overwhelmed with people subscribing since literally yesterday's video please keep subscribing guys i really really appreciate the support um and like i said any breaking news any news whatever i'll i'll do my best to get the video out as soon as possible um so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and again i'm not gonna say come on you spurs because they, they just don't deserve it at the minute they're just bleh. so uh, what i will say is have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video take it easy